Hi, it's Will from StormyCastle.com, and here on YouTube, you know me as what? Epic Fantasy, that's right. This is the YouTube channel with a dragon. <laughs> that's El Guapo. You find me another YouTube dragon channel with an actual dragon. This is the one, Epic Fantasy. Thanks for watching my videos. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing. I put out two new videos every week on all kinds of creative stuff, and this video is all about the Hobbit. And in this video, I show you how to make a foam board sting. That's right. But before I go into that, I wanted to say something else. I am working on a steel sting. Right here. Today, I um, hardened and tempered this blade. That's the steel hobbit sword sting. I hardened and tempered it. And let me pop in some video. You're really going to like this. I did some nighttime hardening on this thing. It's kind of cool. In two or three days, I will post this video on how to make a steel one with the hilt and the handle and the whole works. You know, and the engraving and all of that stuff. A lot of fun. But um, on to this video. So, easy project. I give you the template on how to make the foam board sting if you want sting for yourself, a little hobbit. If you're a little kid, you have your be right size. It's kind of small for me, but that's okay. It's our authentic size. Um, did I say I give you the template? Yep, all set. You can print this up, one piece of foam board, print out the template, make it, have a little bit of hobbit battle fun. Uh, thanks for watching my videos. Thanks for subscribing. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. Uh, lots more fun stuff coming. Um, let's launch into the introduction and then let's do how to make Sting from the Hobbit. Thank you. Dioramas, origami, cat calls, and trepid shades, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, rattle box, and animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, I give you the template. The URL is in the description of this video down below. You can get the way you can go on my website and get the template. Um, cut out those pieces. And the two sword pieces go like this. You tape them together on the dotted lines. And cut out the other pieces, including the handle, the ornaments that go on the blade. Easy enough. I got it all figured out for you. Now take those pieces and trace them onto foam board or cardboard, preferably foam board. And then cut them all out. It's a quick and easy project. If you've always wanted to make one of my projects and you haven't, you're looking for an easy one, do this one. This one's pretty easy and you'll have Sting from the Hobbit in no time at all. See? Now, if you want that ornament there that goes on the blade, it's a little thick. If you want to thin it out, you can actually, it's going to go like this. You can actually um, peel away the top layer of paper and sand down a little bit of that to make it thinner. See? Expose the foam underneath, and you can paint right on that, but I give you the ornament to go on top of it. Well, excuse me, glue the handle together, not tape, just like this. And it forms a little pocket in there where the blade will slide right in. Easy enough. So glue that blade in. And if you have a hot glue gun, use the hot glue gun for strength. That way it's done in a minute for the hot glue to dry. It's easier. If you use white glue, you can use white glue. That'd be fine. But um, it takes a little while to dry. You want it to be strong. Wipe off any excess, just like this. We're almost done with this thing. Just a few more, th just a few more things I'll show you, and you'll have sting. Uh, so paint up the blade silver and the guard silver. And the pommel silver. Now let's glue on the ornament. Once that paint dries, you glue on the ornament piece. Then cut out the inscription, and I give you this that's in the template, and that elvish writing is actually correct. Bonus points to you if you can tell me what that says. Uh, you're probably going to Google it. 
but it actually does say something. So glue that right on top if you want. This is optional. And then cut out the guard piece like this, and that's Elvish writing too. It's all one phrase. It starts on the guard and then it goes on the blade. And you glue that on too. And do this on both sides of the sword, of course. And that's about it. We're just about done here. Maybe finish up the handle, and that'll be that. I'm looking forward to the Sting one. I'm, I've been working on the steel one. I've been working on that one diligently, putting a lot of time into it. It'll be a fun and interesting video. How to make a steel sting. So let's paint the handle brown. And this is um, three times speed. So thanks for watching my channel. Uh, thanks for uh, watching my video. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing. I'm always looking for ideas. I got a bunch more stuff coming, all kinds of crazy stuff, all kinds of cool stuff coming, lots more videos. I really appreciate the comments, and I really appreciate the um, suggestions because I do listen. And I got more giveaways coming, all kinds of stuff. Paint the lines, the vine work on the, on the, on the handle like that. And you're just about done. Um, <clears throat> there's a th three swords in this series that the that were made, and I might do all three. What was the other one? Is Orchrist and I think Glamdring, or Fo I forget Fohammer. I might make all three of them. Uh, we'll see. Let me know what you think about all three. So there it is, the finished sting. Easy to do. You'll have this in no time at all. I like it. <clears throat> Let's uh. Let's look at a few more videos you might like. I got, you know, 550 some odd videos, something like that, of all kinds of stuff. Uh, there's Clash of the Titans, uh, Roman Gladius, the Zelda Sword, Batman, you name it, I got it. That's it. Thanks for watching. Lots more stuff on my uh, website. It's drawnthecastle.com. Come on over for a visit.